what we saw, um, you know, unfortunately in, in the country, let us say between 2012-13 to 2017-18 was that corporate balance sheets in India got over levered, right. And then we saw, we saw the downturn, uh, you know, post that for various reasons, I mean, some political, some regulatory and so on and so forth. And as a result of that, um, banks saw significant amount of NPS built on, on their portfolios, which is when we came across what was at that point in time called a twin balance sheet problem in India, which means banks were unable to lend even further because there is a lot of NPS sitting on their portfolio and they needed to clean that up. And at the same time, uh, corporates were unable to you know, grow because they had over levered themselves and you know, in a sense burnt out because of the problems uh, that we saw in the country at that point in time. Today, the situation is, is exactly the opposite. Bank balance sheets are, are in pristine shape, uh, they are well capitalized, well provided for, margins are good, growth is good uh, and the credit cycle is relatively benign. And which means that the banking sector in India is well positioned to be able to support growth for this country. On the other hand, you are seeing corporate balance sheets are probably in the best that they have been in a decade. A debt to EBITDA uh, is like 1.5, 1.6 times, which is a very low number. Debt equity is less than 1, which is again a very, very healthy number, which means that corporates as and when co promoters in India begin to see that, uh, that the future is good um, and that demand is good, they will start to invest and grow and, and the headroom for growth because of the relative, relatively low leverage that is there at this point in time certainly exists. So, you you've got this virtue cycle now that banks are in a great shape, they want to lend and corporates in are, are in a great shape and hopefully they will start to grow and therefore, banks being confident to be able to lend to these balance sheets, uh, hopefully we will get into that virtue cycle of growth as we go forward. Mm -hmm.